every single culture, pretty much every single one that I know of, has some sort of rites of passage historically for young boys to enter into manhood. And there's many reasons for that, and we could you sort of you know discuss discuss that. But the main thing is that there's no real demarcation unless you provide some kind of an initiation, right? So there's no real demarcation between, well, I'm a boy now and I'm a man now. And what does it actually mean for me to be a man within the context of my culture and my society, you know, within my tribe, within my community? If you look back, and, and again, some of these initiation rites still exist in many, many places, they can include a number of different things, right? It can be a vision quest where you're given water and you're sent out into the forest and you have to survive for four or five days on your own and then return, oftentimes commune in a sort of uh, animalistic way with nature. You know, that's a very animist based way of doing it. There are some that are much more physically taxing, right? I, I don't remember the exact name of the tribe, but they stick their hands into gloves that are filled with bullet ants and the bullet ants will sting you and it's just the most excruciating pain. You know, it's like having the most painful ayahuasca trip ever on the face of the planet for, you know, 36 hours straight. The interesting part of it is that there's an arc to the initiation, and there's different parts that show up, right? There's the calling, there's the descent, there's the abyss, and you really meet who you are in the abyss. You know, do you want to completely run away? Do you do you want to give up? Do you want to quit? Can you keep, you know, can you keep pushing through? And then there's sort of the atonement, right? Maybe you atone for what you've done or what you've experienced, you find a sense of forgiveness and then you return. And the whole point of initiation, I think that this is the really crucial part, is that it wasn't necessarily about the individual. It's not for their personal betterment or their personal development. It's actually so that a boy can step into manhood and return back to his community and be more effective in his contribution to the culture, to actually contributing his skills, his talents, his attributes, and being able to have real merit and worth within culture and society. And I think that's something that we're really struggling with today. And it's, and it's why you see so much conversation about what's happening with young boys and what's happening with men. And, you know, are men in decline and are boys in decline? You know, less men are going to college, less men under 30, you know, are having sex than ever before. It's like 27% of men under 30 haven't been sexually active in the last year, if ever, right? Which is up, I think it's three times in the last 10 years, right? It used to be something like eight to 10%. And so there's so many markers in our culture today that young boys and young men are really struggling. And I think in some ways it's, you know, it's because of this lack of initiation. I think it's also an absence of masculine energy or, or just male role models within our, within our society that they can look up to. And so what happens is that we look to test ourselves, you know, and I did it in a number of ways. I bought a thousand CC motorcycle at 19 years old and was driving 320 kilometers an hour down, a, you know, freaking city streets and highways and shit like that. Just doing dumb stuff that's sort of baked into many of us. And so I think the last thing I would say is that when we don't have these things, when we don't have these moments to sort of test ourselves and see what we're worth and see what we're capable of, we kind of either go down a path of trying to create that in our lives unconsciously, or we just resign to over-domestication. We sit back and we play video games for 40, 50 hours a week and we smoke weed constantly and we just kind of check out from society. And I, I see this happening all the time with young men. And it really is, I mean, I want to say heartbreaking because I think that that's true, but I've experienced it. You know, I, I lived it. Mm -hmm. 